Well, your team's in the divisional championship. Check. You invited your friends over to watch the game. Check. And you have the fridge stocked with your favorite brew. Check. But what about something to snack on while you watch the big game on Sunday? Joining me now from Columbus Craft Meats is their charcuterie director, Evan Inada. Evan, thanks so much for joining us thanks again here on Live in the Bay. Thanks for having me again, Olivia. Yeah. Appreciate it. Now we have to talk about football Sunday. Big game coming up. The Niners versus Eagles this Sunday. Definitely. Everybody knows that's huge. huge. And you know just how to get us right with all the snacks. So kind of walk me through what you're looking at today. Yeah, so Columbus Craft Meats, we've been perfecting the charcuterie board for game day really for over a century in the San Francisco Bay Area. So really when it comes to the dry aging of the meat, it's perfect for the game day because when you're looking at it, dark red color, just perfect for a football Beautiful. design. Exactly. So when you look at this on the board already, what we kind of started with, we started off with like a football itself mm -hmm. as the board. And charcuterie, it's great because you have time. You have time to snack and eat and dabble on things and things could two, three hours for a game so it gets cold. Yeah. So charcuterie always stays perfect. You always keep on snacking. Nothing goes bad that way. So. I love that too. And who doesn't love charcuterie? There's so many different ways that you can deck it out. And let's start over here today. I know we want to yep. bring some of this orange cheese over to the crimson red, right? Totally. So <laughs> this is really game day born. Since Niners Bay Area team, we had to bring the red and gold together. So mm -hmm. getting gold cheese colors and orange, dark orange colors are very, very easy when you're making a Niners kind of combination charcuterie board. So having things like the mimolette right here is a nice mild aged cheese goes great. I'll move this around and mm -hmm. kind of put this over where the strawberries are because it goes great with like a sopressata salami yeah. paired with a strawberry with a little acidity and just that cheese and meat are really always the star of any charcuterie board. So putting things together like that, mm -hmm. we have fresh fruit that you could have gold color involved in. So having some pineapple in the board to a little just, sweetness to it just a little bit of sweetness and just a perfect amount of acidity too to cleanse the palate also and also when you're looking at my favorite cheese actually is a pimento cheese so uh -huh. just putting the pimento cheese in there kind of closer to the chorizo we have a nice spanish style chorizo that's that beautiful red color as well and then having something like a sweetie drop pepper in there as the red to kind of just balance all those beautiful gold and red flavors yeah and we got a little bit of sweet a little bit of salty and all the different flavors exactly and can't go wrong yeah. and adding crackers to the board also mm -hmm. has that orange color so grabbing a couple little cheese crackers and adding that in just makes it a simple easy thing to digest. I love it. Now, super simple, which means everybody can make it. Mm -hmm. Don't have to be a genius for this one. What about the cups over here with the brew? I love how you decorate them. They look great for the, yeah. for the big so game. For Columbus, we love pairing beer uh, with our salami. I think mm -hmm. even more so than wine, beer actually, the flavor and the personality of a beer will transform when you pair it with something like a salami. So I didn't even know that. We, yeah, so we built some fun charcuterie bites. We have a whole bunch of perfect charcuterie bites on our website, mm -hmm. columbuscraftmeats.com, and really just putting in the meat the cheese, the salami, really focusing on that pairing to really elevate any type of beer. We have like a Pilsner from the Bay Area. We also have like a bloody IPA, a blood orange IPA, mm -hmm. and a regular IPA. And the fennel seed in a Soprasada will actually sweeten the IPA bitterness to make it just really easy to enjoy while you're watching the game. That sounds amazing. And Evan, when it comes to creating some of these charcuterie, what's one tip that you would like to just make it easy out there for everybody when they're approaching the game? You know, I think focus on simplicity. It's all about flavor combinations. You could make it look good pretty easy almost any way you want to do it, but really focusing on that meat and cheese and then mm -hmm. picking the right fruit and acid to just elevate that meat and cheese mm -hmm. is the goal here. So that's what we try to do with these perfect charcuterie bites and really with the Niners kind of forward colors. Yeah. It makes it a game day win. Right? It does, yeah. and we're hoping for a big game day win That's on Sunday. For. That's what we're hoping for. for but sure. listen, there is a lot of food here, Evan, and I know we can't eat this by ourselves, so let's yeah. invite everybody yeah. back in. Come Jess, in. Kyla, Jeez. Joe, Leroy, Thank come you. on in, you guys. Evan, this this is is oh, Look at this. Yourself, Look at all this amazing you know, setup, you know, right? You know, I'm always in when yeah. food shows. Oh, hey, so. nothing wrong with that. <laughs> you don't have to look so too far to find me. This is so lovely. I wish everyone could smell this, because I don't know if you mentioned just how delicious this all The aroma is just hitting you right in the face as soon as you hear it. Wow, beautiful. Love it. Well, Gotta listen, love guys, it. we're all excited for Sunday, the big game, and I just know that this makes it a little bit easier. So we're going to take care of this. But everybody, to learn how to make these football-friendly bites, we'll have a link on our website at liveinthebay.tv.